Hello everybody and welcome back. Alright, so what I'm going to show you today is how to make a Xbox achievement in Photoshop CS6. Um, I'm finding this run actually pretty cool just because I've been seeing it on like behind the scenes pictures or like people actually just adding them into their own photos. Um, after playing around with it, I have finally figured out how to make one. It took me quite a while to figure this one out, but I'm going to show you all the steps as to how to do it. Um, mine kind of looks like this, and I'll show you how to make this one. Alright, so first one you open up Photoshop. You go into your file and you select new, and what you need to have is a six <coughs> 1620 pixel width and a 280 pixel height. So just like that. So the first thing I want you to do is to right click the layer, that way you can unlock it, and then going into your blending options, turn your opacity all the way to zero. That way it looks like a transparency rather than having like white corners and stuff like that. All right, and then you go to over to your shapes and you select your rounded rectangular. This is gonna be basically the bottom line of everything that we're gonna be doing here. Um, selecting your color to 4C, 4C, 4C. That's just a very deep um, gray that actually looks really, really cool. So you go from one corner of it to the other, all the way to the edge. Just kind of like even it out here. Release, and there you have it. This is our absolute base. So then you come into a beveling options again. And what I want you to do is to go to stroke. What we're going to be doing is setting the size to 8. Uh, 8 pixels. And we're going to be setting the color to a lighter one where it's going to be 8B, 8B, 8B. And click OK. So that's all you got to really do. It now has given it an outline of a lighter gray color. So now you go up to layer and you go new. Oops. There we go. New layer. Select layer. Um, what I'm going to do is this is going to be a circle, so I'm going to go circle. Bam. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go in. You don't even need to change anything here. All you got to do is make an overlay one hold down shift when you're doing this hold shift and make your shape so we're gonna make a circle around let's say around there there you go so I'm gonna select and I'm gonna re master this what I'm gonna mm, hold, mm. there we go that's basically in the center now I'm gonna move it over just a little bit more there so what we're gonna do with this one is again we're going to go with our blending options and we are going to stroke this um we're going to make this at about a 10. there you have it it's all completely stroked out just like that i don't know why this has got a circle on it mm. yeah da, 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 da. okay looks good so now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our paint tool and we're going to change the color um, to a nice good Xbox color. So it's going to be 73A91F. It's a very sharp color. And what you got to do is, oh, the shape layer must be weak. Uh, yeah, just push OK and fill it in. There you go. That's basically how our Xbox um, Red Ring of Death is going to happen. Just like that. So, with that already done, just like that, what we're going to do is we are going to make another layer. Yep. So, with that, we're going to go back to our rectangular one and we're going to make a circle within a circle. I'm going to make it to be about there. There we go. Now with that, put it straight in the center. Grab my paint bucket. Yes. And, nope, sorry, that was the wrong color. <laughs> so, 
Zero, 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 zero. There you go. Black. Fill it with black. There you go. This has now got our bullseye going on. So from here, what I want to do is actually make another layer on top. Yeah, create another layer. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go into this one here. We're going to go into custom shapes. Uh, right up at the top are all your different types of shapes that you can select from here. Um, personally, I don't have like a trophy or an Xbox, you know, sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the check mark, which is already selected for me, and I'm going to make a check mark for this box. So there you go. I got a check mark. And then we grab our color picker tool and we select the green. So then we go back to this, hold down shift so that it gives you a nice even check mark. And then once again, we're going to move this directly into the center of what we think it is. And we're going to call that perfect. So from here, we're going to go to line and we're going to make another new layer. And then what you got to do is I'm going to set this straight up to black. Zero, 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 zero. Push OK. And then um, you want to keep the weight at about, or the sorry, the uh, pixel at about a six. And just so that it's all perfect and stuff like that, hold shift. And you shall get a perfect line. There you go. And so from there, we're going to go layer another new layer. And we're going to go straight across from there. Hold down shift again so you get your perfect line. There you go. But, however, I made this a little bit too high. So I'm going to just bring this one down just a tad bit. And for the next layer, uh, once again, i got to move this over just a little bit. Sometimes it takes a little bit of quick editing. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the <coughs> the lines, the shapes one, and two, and three, and we're gonna bring them down below the check mark. Click on the check mark, and there you have it. Basically, the entire achievement is completely finished. Uh, this didn't take me. Uh, this took me very long to figure out by myself, but now that I have this completely down. It hasn't taken me any time at all. So then we're going to select our text. Arial is usually what the uh, simple color, sorry, the uh, text font for Xbox 360 is. So what we're going to do is set it to white because that's what the text color is. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to then make it. Achievement. Unlocked. There you go. Okay, so as for saving, um, I re I recommend more or less if you're wanting to just basically kind of save this so that you're able to make all sorts of different ways that you want to do it. Here, example, like I want to take this and like resize it, just bring it down a bit, no problem. All you got to do is go file save as and keep it as a Photoshop PSD but if you're wanting to save the like you write in your achievement of what you want it to be and then you want to keep the transparency you then click down and select your PNG file and this is what will support your transparency okay. so that's all you have to do thank you very much for watching Again, my name is Steven. I work for MisfitPixGallery.com. I hope this tutorial was very useful for you. Um, I'm going to have a lot more just like this. So thank you very much again for watching. Please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have a lot more just like this. And if you have any other sort of questions or comments, please leave them below or please email me at um, Steven at MisfitPixGallery.com. Have a great day.